What up guys, Miguel here of Gigatech, and the Android OS is already pretty customizable itself, with different brands applying their own style and features to their Android user interface. Android launchers take it a step further by helping to replace whatever your default manufacturer's home screen with custom icon packs, distinctive layouts, and more features to help you truly personalize your experience when using your Android device. First and foremost, amongst all Android launchers, you're going to have to switch your default home screen. And the simplest way to do so is to download the Android launcher first and then head to your device's settings and search Home App and select the app launcher you want as the default home screen. Now with that settled, let's check out some Android launchers still worth installing today! First on the list is one of the best options for those looking at a clean and simple launcher, and that is Smart Launcher 6. The interface is pretty standard with apps on the home screen, while swiping left shows various news stories categorized by topic, and swiping up will show all your apps that can all be sorted by genre. There are also a bunch of customizations like the ability to change icon appearances, display icon groups in different styles, add multiple widgets for all your apps, and choosing between a grid system for apps or freely move them around to any spot. Smart Launcher also features a smart search bar that is simple to use by searching through your apps, contacts, and web to find exactly what you're looking for with no fuss. Do you ever go, Dan, I wish my phone was more like my PC? Well, next on this list is Microsoft Launcher, with over 50 million downloads and a 4.7 star rating on the Google Play Store. The look of Microsoft Launcher is made by Microsoft themselves and brings a design reminiscent of Windows PCs onto your phone's home screen. There's also the app library when you swipe up and a dock at the bottom where you can have your most used apps placed for quick access. But what's great is that if you're well integrated in Microsoft's suite of apps, swiping left shows you a feed of those Microsoft apps like news, calendar, to-do, sticky notes, documents, and your most frequently used ones. Up next is Nova Launcher, known for being one of the best launchers for customization. Most phones let you choose between light and dark mode, but in Nova Launcher, you can even choose how dark your dark mode is. You can also change icon shapes and sizes, change the radius of the corners of app icons, choose where your search bar is placed, adjust background transparency, and select different animations. You can even have a 12x12 grid of apps in a single home screen, which if you work it out, that's 144 apps in a single page. There's even a swipeable dock where you can have your most frequently used apps for easy and quick access. Users can also choose to upgrade to Nova Launcher Prime for more gesture customization, app grouping and hiding, and even more scroll effect. But what's great about Nova Launcher Prime is that it allows you to add unique icon gestures for swipe and swipe down. For example, the Google shortcut can have tap to launch Google Chrome, swipe up for YouTube, and swipe down for Gmail all in one icon, which in the hands of the right user can be nifty as heck. If you're a big fan of both Xiaomi and Poco devices and their design, then you'd be impressed to learn about their Poco Launcher 2.0. It's also one of the most popular launchers with over 100 million downloads. What's great about the Poco Launcher is that it's lightweight on your phone system and is simple to use with a pretty clean and engaging design. It gives a whole range of customization with users being able to even change icon styles and download full-on icon packs. Swiping up still shows your full library of apps, but what's great is that you can sort them out to simply show apps for work, gaming, productivity, health, and even by color if that's your cup of tea. But on the other hand, if you're a big fan of Apple's iPhones and iOS and wish that Android was more like it, then you'll be glad to know that Launcher iOS 16 is available. And it's as straightforward as it sounds basically mimics the look and feel of iOS. Going as far as changing the Google Play Store icon into Apple's App Store icon, as well as other apps like phone and calendar to name a few. But of course, behind all that, it still launches your stock Play Store, Google Photos, and calendar app once you click it. Users can even enable an iPhone-like lock screen that shows notifications just like an iPhone, even the flashlight and camera shortcuts at the bottom. 
But what's truly impressive is that it even has the option to enable a dynamic island just like on the latest iPhone 14 Pro models. Although its functionality seems to be limited to certain apps like weather for now. But if you find all these launchers a bit too overwhelming with too much customization, and you kind of like the idea of a minimalist interface, try checking out the Niagara Launcher. Unlike any launcher or home screen, Niagara displays your apps as a list. To see your full list of apps, you either swipe left, scroll on the list of letters on the right, or swipe up to search the specific app you're looking for. And that's pretty much it for Niagara Launcher, really. There's not much else you can do. But for others, it might be exactly what they need for their minimalist interface. Forget all customizations, widgets, app libraries, home screens, and simply just show the apps you frequently use on a daily basis. And those are just some of the noteworthy Android launchers that are still worth installing today. But choosing a single best launcher is practically impossible since it does come down to your needs and preferences. So make sure to experiment which app launcher suits you best. So, did you find this video informative or did you learn something new? Let us know in the comment section below, as well as your favorite Android launcher that's not included on this list. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.